a dimly lit study room with a chalkboard covered in equations. A soft glow illuminates the face of an older Albert Einstein, sitting at a desk surrounded by books and papers. I was born on March 14, 1879, in Ulm, in the kingdom of Württemberg in the German Empire. From an early age, I was captivated by the mysteries of nature. I would spend hours contemplating the workings of the world around me. But my path was not without its struggles. After graduating from the Polytechnic in Zurich, I faced a new set of challenges. Jobs were scarce, and I struggled to find a position that suited my interests. Eventually, I secured a job at the Swiss Patent Office in Bern. I introduced the theory of special relativity, proposing that space and time are intertwined, and the speed of light is a constant in the universe. This led to the realization that energy and mass are equivalent. I also explored the nature of light, explaining the photoelectric effect, which provided crucial evidence for quantum theory and earned me the Nobel Prize in 1921. My quest for knowledge took me further. In 1915, I introduced the theory of general relativity, a new understanding of gravity not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Working at the patent office allowed me to remain somewhat detached from the mainstream academic community. This intellectual independence enabled me to pursue unconventional ideas without the pressure to conform to established scientific norms or trends. My secret, if one could call it that, was the use of thought experiments. I imagined scenarios that defied conventional understanding and explored their logical implications. For instance, I envisioned what it would be like to ride alongside a beam of light, leading to my insights into the nature of light and the formulation of special relativity. At the patent office, I had the time to think deeply about the fundamental questions of physics. It was during this period that I developed some of my most important ideas. 1905 became known as my Annus Mirabilis, or Miracle Year, as I published four papers that would forever change our understanding of the universe. Quantum mechanics, with its probabilistic nature and wave-particle duality, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. I famously remarked that God does not play dice with the universe, grappling with the idea of inherent randomness. However, the empirical successes of quantum mechanics are undeniable and have become the cornerstone of modern physics. One of the most astonishing aspects of quantum mechanics is entanglement, a phenomenon I once described as spooky action at a distance. Today, experiments have confirmed the reality of entanglement. The work of Alan Aspect, John Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger, who tested Bell's inequalities, has shown that the correlations predicted by quantum mechanics cannot be explained by local hidden variables. Their contributions were rightfully honored with the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics. The advancements in quantum technology are revolutionary. Quantum computers, leveraging superposition and entanglement, promised to transform computation. In 2019, Google's Sycamore processor achieved quantum supremacy, performing a computation that would take the world's fastest supercomputer thousands of years. Quantum cryptography with protocols like QKD ensures secure communication, demonstrated by China's Mishia satellite, which has achieved secure communication over thousands of kilometers. Quantum metrology has enabled unprecedented precision in measurements. Entangled states in atomic clocks have significantly improved their accuracy, impacting navigation, telecommunications, and fundamental tests of physical theories. Quantum sensors promise revolutionary improvements in various fields, from medical imaging to geological surveying. Yet our quest for understanding goes beyond empirical successes. I have always sought a deeper grasp of the underlying reality. The interpretation of quantum mechanics remains a fertile ground for exploration. The many worlds interpretation suggests all possible outcomes of a quantum measurement occur in parallel realities. Bohmian mechanics offers a deterministic interpretation with hidden variables. 
Decoherence theory explains the apparent collapse of the wave function, describing how classical reality emerges from the quantum substrate. Despite these advancements, unresolved issues and weak points in quantum mechanics remain where my criticisms might still hold relevance. Measurement problem. The collapse of the wave function during measurement remains a mystery. How and why the deterministic evolution of the wave function gives way to probabilistic outcomes is not fully understood. Various interpretations propose different mechanisms, but a universally accepted solution is lacking. Quantum gravity. Unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity remains elusive. String theory and loop quantum gravity are promising, but lack empirically testable predictions. The incompatibility between the smooth fabric of space-time in general relativity and the discrete nature of quantum mechanics highlights the need for a deeper theoretical framework. Non-locality and realism. Non-locality, while experimentally confirmed, challenges our classical notions of space and causality. The search for a more satisfactory explanation continues. The debate between realism and the epistemic interpretation of the wave function raises fundamental questions about the nature of reality. Interpretational ambiguities. Multiple interpretations of quantum mechanics indicate our understanding is still incomplete. Whether the wave function represents physical reality, knowledge, or something else, remains an open question. New experimental techniques and theoretical insights will be crucial in resolving these ambiguities. In condensed matter physics, the discovery of topological insulators and the exploration of quantum Hall effects have opened new avenues for understanding and manipulating quantum states of matter. These materials exhibit robust edge states immune to scattering, paving the way for novel quantum electronic devices. The study of topological phases of matter has revealed deep connections between quantum mechanics and topology, offering new perspectives on the classification and behavior of quantum states. In closing, the journey of scientific discovery is never truly complete. Each answer we uncover leads to new questions, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Quantum mechanics has taught us to embrace the unknown and remain open to the mysteries of the universe. As we continue to explore the quantum realm, let us do so with the same spirit of curiosity and wonder that has driven scientific progress for centuries. To all the brilliant minds here today, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what we know. The future of quantum mechanics, and indeed all of physics, lies in your hands. Together, let us strive to uncover the deeper truths of our universe and inspire the generations to come. In closing, I would like to emphasize that the journey of scientific discovery is never truly complete. Each answer we uncover leads to new questions, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Quantum mechanics has taught us to embrace the unknown and to remain open to the mysteries of the universe. As we continue to explore the quantum realm, let us do so with the same spirit of curiosity and wonder that has driven scientific progress for centuries. To all the brilliant minds here today, I encourage you to keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what we know. The future of quantum mechanics, and indeed all of physics, lies in your hands. Together, let us strive to uncover the deeper truths of our universe and inspire the generations to come. In the vast expanse of the universe, where stars burn and galaxies collide, one man unlocked the secrets of space, time, and matter, redefining our understanding of reality itself. 
This is the story of Albert Einstein, a genius whose ideas transformed the world. 